uh, question is uh, in regard to the uh, uh, abstract that was published in the H EHH, uh, EHA in 2018 uh, by Rambaldi. Uh, this is a <clears throat> phase two, uh, three stage study um, of naplosumab uh, in patients with transplant associated uh, post transplant TMA. Uh, the eligibility for this trial uh, included uh, patients who were at least 30 days uh, uh, post uh, allogeneic transplant uh, who uh, developed uh, uh, TMA on uh, immune suppression. Uh, these patients had to be ref uh, had persistent disease uh, after stopping their uh, uh, calcium inhibitor. Uh, they were enrolled in this study. Um, there were three stages. The first stage uh, was to treat uh, patients uh, with uh, the three different dose levels of this drug uh, for four weeks. Uh, and the goal of this first stage was really to find the best dose. Uh, and second stage, uh, uh, these patients were treated at the higher dose of the uh, nasoplumab, and uh, they were treated uh, either four weeks uh, or eight weeks uh, in the third stage. Uh, this trial is uh, ongoing, uh, but the interim analysis uh, was uh, published uh, in the abstract form uh, at the HA. Uh, what they uh, basically found uh, was that uh, there was a uh, very encouraging 100-day uh, survival as, as well as uh, overall survival uh, in this cohort. Uh, they compared this cohort to uh, a, a cohort of historical controls uh, that were case-matched, and what they found was that the median survival uh, for the patients on this trial uh, was about 350 days. Uh, compared to the historical cohort where the median survival was basically 21 days. Um, they also found a significant uh, improvement in overall survival at 100 days from the TMA, uh, from the TMA uh, diagnosis uh, of, uh, I believe, over 60% uh, compared to 20% uh, in the historical cohort. So based on these encouraging, uh, albeit uh, uh, non-randomized data, uh, the FDA uh, gave uh, the drug uh, a, a breakthrough destination, uh, and the current uh, phase three trial, uh, correction, um, a current registration trial uh, is underway um, uh, in multi center uh, study. In terms of anticipating how this, uh, now, how the supplement uh, could be used in our practice, uh, I think it would depend on a number of factors. Uh, first is uh, how, how safe and tolerable this drug is, uh, and the second factor it might be cost, obviously. Uh, based on the trial uh, data so far, this drug appears to be uh, quite well tolerated, although uh, there are a number of patients uh, who have died of infections, uh, which is probably expected for this population based on their disease. Um, however, if the drug is proven to be safe uh, and uh, effective, uh, you know, there sh uh, should be a role for this medication uh, in the use early on after uh, the TMA diagnosis. One key point that I'd like to make is that uh, with TMA, waiting for the disease to lead to renal compromise is probably too late. Um, and there's more and more literature now suggesting that, you know, it is uh, important to treat early uh, and uh, uh, important to treat before the serum creatinine starts to rise. Um, so one earlier marker for uh, uh, severe TMA, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, is the presence of proteinuria. So in patients who start to develop proteinuria uh, or have um, uh, elevated uh, levels of uh, uh, soluble complement C5B9, uh, those are the patients that uh, should probably be treated uh, before they actually develop uh, renal failure or develop uh, end organ disease. 